we have to construct an AND gate using diodes here we use the PN diode for this purpose we take two diodes to operate these diodes we need two battery for this purpose and this is the grounds or our thing that's for zero potential and we have to connect this at the negative terminal of the battery and there need a resistance to measure the output voltage and we get the output at this point so we connect this the resistance at this point now we increase the potential of the battery to 5 volt Now take this A and take this diode B. That's A and B diodes. <coughs> if we give both the diode zero input or low input, then there will be a current flow through both the diodes. For this, if there is five volt, then there will be also plus there will be zero volt because there will be a current flow in the resistance so there will be zero at output now you have to check this logic for this we connect both the diode to zero and we see that the output to measure the output we need a uh, voltmeter at this point and there should be a R thing there and see the output is 740 millivolt that's taken as can be taken as zero so that is low very low for zero zero input the output is zero and we have to disconnect it and now we take the input as 0 1 and what happens see for 0 and 1 the diode A will be active so there will be a current flow through A but B will be inactive so there will be also a current flow through 1 kilo ohm resistance so if there is plus 5 volt then there will be 0 volt potential so the output will be at 0 volt so we have to check this circuit for 0 1 see the output is 760 millivolt just that's low and can be taken as 0 so for 0 1 input the output is 0 now for 1 0 condition for input 1 and 0 A is 1 and B is 0 for this the diode there will be current flow through the diode B because it is in active mode but B is inactive so if there is plus 5 volt then there will be 0 volt on the other side of the resistance so the output is 0 for 1 0 so output is 0 now see that for 1 0 condition that is 760 millivolt at output that can be taken as 0 
so for one zero that is zero so it also satisfied the condition now for the ultimate condition that is one one it at input and we should get one in this case both the diode will be inactive because both side of the diode has positive voltage so there will be no current flow through the diodes then if there is plus 5 volt at the one terminal of the resistance then other terminal also have plus 5 volt potential so the voltmeter will give plus 5 volt or high potential so now to check this for one on condition you can see the output is at plus 5 volt that's high so we can see for one one condition we get 5 volt that mean high potential that's one a digital expression for one one this is one thus we can make and get using diodes and the condition is satisfied for and get in this process